Well, good day, drivers. Welcome back to American Truck Sim. So we're not going to take this rig out today. We're going to put this one back into the company, and we are going to build another truck, although I want to build just a plain Jane, no huge high horsepower, and uh, go back to where the old trucks, you know, kind of thing were. So uh, let's, uh, truck manager, I think it is. No, that's not right. Uh, truck dealer, that's where we want. Now, I don't know what brand I want to do. Um, Freightliner. I'm sure I found one, two Freightliners. Western Star, absolutely not. Mac, I don't think so. International, maybe. Volvo. Let's try a Volvo. We haven't done much in the Volvo lines. Buy online. We're just going to get the regular day cab. Uh, I don't know what the difference is between these. Let's just read those things there. 6x2, 6x4. I guess there's um, only two, one, like one drive axle on this one maybe. 6x2, cabin 300, 300 left-handed, left-handed. I think that would be able to say. 355 horse. 435 so let's go with this smaller guy gonna go smaller and I just want to pop into the customization because I just I want to change the color and stuff um, there's the bigger cabs so yeah we're uh, 150 gallon we're gonna have to stop for fuel quite, quite a bit six by two I think that's what that means is um, yeah this one doesn't drive on the rear axle it has brakes back there but no drive so if you go to, so you can see the differential there, right? The other one will have, um, goes back through 6x2, 6x4. We'll just do the, we'll do the 6x2. Okay, that's good. Um, Engine-wise, we'll leave her at that, 355 horse. The only thing I might want to change is... Let's throw in an 18 speed. <laughs> Holy jumping. That's actually interesting because that'll take a lot more cargo. Look at the difference there. Wow. So we got a 10 speed, 13, 12, 12, 12, 18. Good old 6 speed. Normal cargo, heavy cargo. It drops a lot. Let's do a 6 speed. We haven't done a 6 for a long time. Okay. Well, there's this one and then there's... Uh, yeah, there's six up there. This one's a lot more money for some reason. Differential ratios are the same. This one has the retarder and this one doesn't. I don't really want to need that, I guess. Okay. Uh, cab inside doesn't really matter to me. Cab outside. Uh, yeah, this is the paint, the paint area here. I just want to do, I don't know, something other than that drab green. Let's do city scene. Well, I don't know. U.S. Navy SEALs, that's kind of cool. The Burning Skull. Wow. Burning Skull. Interesting. Oh, I like the flames, though. Oh, that would actually look good in my deer colors. Let's leave that on there. That's pretty cool. Oh, sorry, this was... <laughs> we were first. That's the Burning Skull. Okay, that makes sense. I'm like, I don't see any skull on that one. But that's kind of cool. Let's leave her there. Something, something a little interesting. The rest can be all good. So we'll confirm that. And we will purchase that. Now we got to find a garage. That's the only trouble is if you don't have any empty garages. There's one there. And that's uh, price. Okay. So let's go there. We'll go truck manager. And we want to do driven distance. It should be that one. Little wee guy. Drive it. Yes. We'll put the other one back into the company. Sweet. I haven't been in one of the smaller day cabs for like a long time. So it'll be kind of something different, right? So we'll have to... Well, I don't know. It'll probably start us in price here, I would think. Are we in price? Are we in our are we in our truck? Oh we are too. Alright. 
Um, okay, so I guess we need a job. We do have trailers, um, but we'll just take, a, I think, a quick job today, or the freight market job. See what we got here in, uh, oh, no, we're in Portland. Okay. Wind turbine. Oh, that's a long trip. I don't really want to go on that long of a trip. That one's not too bad for this little truck. Let's take the, the Kenworths. There we go. Uh, should be Let's do this. should be a good struggle, but I think we'll be all right. Let's have a look around inside here. Oh yeah, she's a truck. She's good. Oh, I gotta adjust some of my steering stuff. Uh, I had my computer crash, so I had to reinstall my Windows. And uh, a lot of the stuff was uh, messed up, so the controls right now are really, really, really stiff, and I don't know why. Because I've turned, oh, let's turn that off. That might help. Uh, let's see if that help at all. Oh, it's still like super, super stiff. Okay, you gotta have to, I got to pause a minute because it's gonna tear my desk apart here if I try to drive like that. It's just like I can hurriedly move it kind of thing. Give me one sec, I'll see if I can figure this out here. Alright, I think I might have got it figured out. It's something to do with the uh, force feedback stuff. This is a weird transmission in this. It's like an automatic kind of manual shift transmission. I guess I better turn some lights on. Oh, I got a problem there, I see. <laughs> I have to reconfigure that. Or not use my signals. That's interesting. My uh, paddle shifters, my control, my signals too. Okay, well, let's fix that here. So we get rid of uh, keys. Um, no, it's pr well, it's pr yeah, no, that should be uh, oh, left turn, right turn, and where's the shifting up and so we want that to be no nope. oh my goodness go back in there we want that to be oh I don't know why it did that but I never adjusted that at all, so... There we go. This is a weird truck. Like, I'm shifting it, but it's... It's kind of not shifting... Um, the way I'm used to, anyways. Stay right, and then stay left. Stay left. Maybe it's because it's the six speed. It zips along pretty good though. Stay right. Then exit right. Exit right. Go straight. Never gone right there yet. Interesting.
interesting to go change right. these transmissions. Right. Is there anywhere I can do that here? There's a Kenworth dealer here. I can maybe do that at that dealership where we're going to pick up these trucks here. I just want to try a different transmission, see if it sounds the same. Cause it's weird. It's just like one gear kind of thing. Turn right. Stay left, and then turn Ooh, left. all over the place. It's weird, it's like an automatic. Turn left. Different, that's just the way it is, I guess, but... Yeah, the wheel seems a little bit stiff still, but... I think I put it down too loose, and it was just it's really floppy then. <laughs> it's like, gotta find the happy medium there. So far, this truck seems pretty good. For a little guy. Everybody's scared of the skull. Oh, you're gonna wait for me? That's nice of you guys to do that. Yeah, let's switch to uh, maybe a 10 speed. And pardon me, we'll see if that makes any difference. It's kind of bothering me the way that sounds, the way that Stay shifts right, like that. And then turn right. Turn Jake right. brake really works good. Get ready to turn left. Oh. Oh. Turn left. Here we are. Safe okay, and let's sound. Uh, switch this first here. I guess we could have initiated the load there and then done it after, but let's see if we can switch this. We should be able to switch this here. So let's go from the. Uh, no, wrong one. This one. Okay, say so let's go from the six to. Um, six to the ten. Okay. All right, good to go. New transmission. Wish it was that fast to install that. All right, we'll take the freight here. Uh, it's the only one here. Take her. Okay. Continue. Here we go. They should be right between those buildings there, so I'm just gonna go this way. It's probably gonna sound exactly the same. Maybe they're all like that on this truck, I don't know. Volvo, I haven't really driven a whole lot of them. Oh geez, I didn't see those things there. I think that one sounds the way it should. Well, except I need to be on the other side. Whoops, wrong way. Just the shift in between gears, it just sounded... It's like, oh, geez. All right, come Ride on with safe. me, Kenworth. Imagine a Volvo pulling the Kenworth, eh? But uh, let's just check the map here. And I guess we'll follow the 5 all the way down. All the way down to where is it we're going here? Oakland Shippers in Oakland. All right. Off we go. It doesn't. It leaves that little pause between. So when I switch here, it's not just like <laughs> right after. That just sounded funny. It's gonna drive me nuts. So this would be a little better for pulling these trucks anyway. So turn right. Guess we can't say that we're bone stock. Oh. 
I'll double shift it now. Get ready to turn left. Turn left. That was a funny turn there, bud. Going too fast, weren't you? Oh, wow. <laughs> I'm not used to not having that power. Wow, we. This isn't. Really a heavy load. Most of it's on wheels, so 57,000 pounds of truck. That's not too bad, though. Stay right, and then turn right. quite see that the fence there. Yeah, we'll just get one and then, and then another one and then another one. I think I'm good after this guy though. Oh, must have got a green light. Oh, my bad. Unless I'm watching the light. Stay right and then turn right. Turn right. Still went way over the paint there. Trucks, oh yeah, they flash. Oh, they got extra lights on there, I guess. Oh, geez, better get over. <laughs> Not watching where I'm going. There we go. I, I've just been drinking a little bit this morning. <laughs> I didn't know if they would use the actual taillights of the last truck there for my signals on this, or they, they had another light bar there. Ninth to tenth is a sure drop in RPMs. Wow. Stay left. Oh, sorry, bud. Drifted over on you. We're good. No paint exchanging there yet. <laughs> A big climb up the bridge here, eh? Normally go. Oh yeah, I guess you can only go right or left here. Sorry. 
No, he should be able to go, uh, yeah, I can go up that way. It doesn't kind of really get you anywhere. I guess we could have, we should have looked at that sooner, actually. And I could have come down through here. And this way, I don't ever, hardly ever go that way. And then, well, we've done that one, I guess, once. Interesting. The one way there I don't go at all, though. Stay right. Like if I stay left and go the other way, but I always seem to, to go to the right here, I guess it is. Which is the south. I always, always heading south. Feels a little weird feeling this morning, I must say. I'm not kind of used to it. It seems to be a little drifty, like it's even more sensitive than it was before, it seems. I guess I could adjust the sensitivity. Like, see that? How I'm hardly moving it, and it's like going all over the place. Stay left. Not exactly sure why it's 89 on the highway here. That seems kind of slow for a highway like this. It should be 100 at least. Not sure on that one. So I shouldn't have to stop for fuel. Mm. Oh, I don't own that depot in there yet. That truck headquarters. Interesting in Salem. I uh, shouldn't have to stop for fuel. Uh, see how sensitive that is? Holy cow, it's all over the place. I shouldn't have to stop for fuel, but uh, I might uh, just anyways, just to keep her, keep her up. Yeah, it's like really, really sensitive. I'm hardly moving the wheel at all there. And that's... Whew. I guess that's good if you get in a pinch, you can zip yourself out quick, but, oh boy, it keeps you, keeps you a little sharper on the wheel, that's for sure. It's kind of like simulating a brand new truck, which we have here, right? We have a brand new truck. Always so touchy on the 222 kilometers on it right now. Cool. Seems to be uh, pretty good, though. I don't know how fast we can get her going here. I should see how fast. I got the cruise locked into about 101. I'm gonna get up to there, maybe. You can hear the turbo backing off there a little bit. It should zip along pretty good once you get her up to speed. Let's see what we can get out of her here. Kind of got a bit of a downhill here. Hundred twenty. Twenty-two, twenty-three. Probably all we're going to squeeze out of there. A little bit of a downhill there, so now we're going to lose it all here. Am 
Wow, it's like super, super sensitive. I don't think, I must not have something where I had it before because, wow, it's like really touchy. It's sort of kind of all right though. I really don't mind it because I don't really have to, uh, I really don't have to move the wheel too much to correct things, you know, so it's all right. 125, I think we had 127 there briefly. It looks like a hill coming, so we're going to lose it all here again. Oh, man. And I'll go back to the 101. Or maybe 105. We'll level off at there. I think. Be a little bit easier on the fuel. Got 1316, 15 that we can go. We got uh, 849 left, so that's not too bad. Oh, it was zipping along there. We ate off quite a few pretty quick there. That's all right. A little rest area. I haven't been into that one yet. Kind of a cool little one there. It kind of reminds me of the ones driving out to Halifax there. It's not quite like that anymore now. they got all these great, big, modern, sophisticated, big ones, all these restaurants and crap in it. And, uh, but at one time it was little wee ones like that. You'd stop off and, you know, you'd go into the washroom and it kind of smelled like a washroom. And <laughs> if you know what I mean, like, it cleaned like once a week maybe, and if that. <laughs> the old, the old stuff, right? So, the old days of traveling. Where you're like, well, I gotta go to the bathroom, but I really don't want to sit on the seat. Because <laughs> it's, it's kind of gross. But, yeah. Now it's all highway all the way out there. From my house to Halifax is all highway now. So, big highway like this. It's got its stuff. It was neat because you, at one time it was, you know, you go through like this kind of stuff. And then all of a sudden you'd be down to like one lane and kind of going through like a little bit of a town kind of thing and then back out into the highway again. But now it's just all straight highway all the way through. So Some of this drive kind of reminds me of that. Oh, they want to see us. Hope they got the coffee on. Jake breaks acting weird. Recomputing. Oh, better not get on the scale until he gets done. You done there, bud? Okay. Pickup sitting there. That's sweet. Okay, so we had uh, 57,000 worth of truck. We got 75, so that sounds about right, yeah. Go straight. Bus gonna try us here. You better wait for me there, bus. He did too. Wow, look at that. Didn't even cut him off. He could have got over though. Now he gets over. Their AI on single player is not all there sometimes. I mean, he should have been able to see that the traffic was coming and got over to that far lane. Four, kinda, you know, I was into the lane already, but anyways, that's all right. I love the AI because sometimes they crash together too. <laughs> oh, it's kind of funny. 
can see them crashing. It's like, oops. That doesn't happen too often, but... Oh, what's that guy pulled over for? Uh-oh, he got pulled over by the coppers. Speeding. Fifty-two left. We've got eleven seventy-two on the tank. It might be awful close, actually. Could be kind of close. do uh, uh, the convoy someday and come out of this place here, because this place is really big. I think I've mentioned that a few times. There's quite a bit of room in there. <laughs> Keep your eyes on the road. So sensitive. Oh, man. Insane sensitive and sensitivity. climb here. Making us work a little more. I don't think it's a whole lot different than the uh, the other trucks, really. Maybe for the heavier loads it might be, but I couldn't do any of the heavy haul, I don't believe. Should try one. <laughs> Just for fun. My luck, I'd get stopped on like one of those off-ramps. I wouldn't be able to get started again. had that in the bigger trucks actually it's like I'm in first gear what the heck and it's just like rah, rah, and then finally it kind of goes but oh I don't have this off-ramp here yet there's no cars uh oh uh oh uh oh uh oh uh oh uh oh, uh -oh. <laughs> go straight we're good Whew. Crazy, eh? Quite a jump from ninth to tenth there. Quite the difference. Oh, come on, baby. Medford. 
wonder what's with uh, a lot of towns have Ford on the end. Like blah blah Ford. It must mean something. I've never researched or studied into that. Like we've got Medford here. Near me I've got a me Ford. Uh, Brant Ford. Uh, I'm sure there's lots of other Fords. I just can't think off the top of my head around here. But it seems like a... I don't know. Ford. It must mean something. Something Ford. And more than just the vehicle. funny looking in the mirror and seeing my tires all exposed where I'm used to not seeing that. You know, there's a cab there. It's all covered by that kind of thing. Oh, copper's got someone pulled over here. Uh oh, or do they? Oh, yes, they do. Oh, bad boy. Oh, they're going to want us in here or bypass. Really bud? I was just in the last one. That was a last minute decision. Well, let's see, he's empty here. Let's see if he goes straight through on the left here. Oh dude, what are you doing to me? This one, I should have bypassed this one, I would have thought, but. This guy's gonna stop at the end here, I bet. You watch. Is he? Is he? Is he? Oh, no, he didn't. so bad. Oh, look, there's a chunk of tire here under the ground. It's one of those uh, uh, road things coming up. Watch when I drive over here. <laughs> Actually, blum, blum, blum over it. <laughs> That's one of those random road event things. too, it's holding me back a bit. Five oh nine left at eight thirty three on the fuel left, so that's not too bad. I probably Go straight. should at some point here look for some fuel. I kinda wanna see if I can get one just off the side of the road. I really want to go into a town, but if I have to, I have to, I guess it's not a big deal. Well, I remember Hornbrook. Hornbrook was the end of the line here at one time. I'd have to go back and find that old video. I remember coming up and that was it. There was nothing else up here because they didn't have the state, right? None of that was in there, so. <laughs> oh yeah, I remember that was the end of the line. That seemed like a long drive. Now they added a lot more to it, right? So. <laughs> That's alright. It's getting pretty awesome. Really, I should go back and watch some of my old videos there of the the early days of American Truck Sim, we'll say, and driving and how the scenery was different. And it's a lot different now. It's like way different. 
I know they've gone over and remapped and changed the roads quite a bit too. And Highway 5 was had turns and it was pretty well a straight shot all the way down. There wasn't really much to it, but now it's yeah, it's pretty involved now. Oh, there's a weed. <laughs> weed City Limits. Can't believe they actually name a place named Weed. Not necessarily, like, I'm not necessarily meaning because of, like, the marijuana they call weed, but, like, weeds in general. Oh, I don't have this one yet. Weed in general? It's like, really? Why would you? Never mind. Why would you I'll want to name a new something route. after a weed? Please don't crash. Please don't Go crash. Straight. Please don't crash. Please don't crash. See, did I lose any on that truck or gain any? Uh, I don't know if we, we might have lost a little bit on them, but not much. <laughs> it's pretty awesome. I didn't have that off ramp. I, I got to get it because now I explored the map a little more, right? What are we at now? Uh, 69.17. Holy cow, there's still piles left. I got all these little wee roads here. I haven't been up this little road. You know, that looks like a pretty corkscrewy little road. Some here connecting. I still haven't even been over to Idaho Falls or Salmon here. Salmon. Should try an Elko one and see if I can get something going north there. But anyways, one day we'll do her. Sorry, bud. Sensitivity. At least it sounds like an air horn. That doesn't. We're approaching the 400 kilometer range. We've still got 750. I think we'll be all right. It's going to be awful close though, but if I can get fuel s somewhere here, it wouldn't be a bad idea maybe, but uh, we'll see. I don't have that much more to go, so. Stay left. actually did a load. I don't think it was on video. I did a load actually out of the Kenworth plant. I believe it was a Kenworth plant. I'm like, that's kind of cool. Go straight. And it was a pretty big place. Like, it was a massive place. It was hard to kind of figure out how to get back out of it. Holy jeez. How to get back out, but eventually I found my way out. I think it was delivering trucks like this too, but that was kind of neat. around with the sensitivity. It's just a little bit too crazy. Might be something to do with the force feedback again. But you can't turn the force, well of course there's fuel on that side. You can't turn the force feedback right off or it gets even stiffer. Which is weird. You think it would just move. We don't want to shut everything right off but no it got stiffer so I had to, well let's have a look here. Had to turn uh, the force feedback on the gain, so now it's not bad. But if I turn this down, it gets like really floppy, like it just woo. So I turn that up. Maybe I'll try to turn that down a little bit. The gain, uh, I don't really know what that does, but I think that's something with the. I don't know. It's changing something there. The centering. 
That stiffens it up. Oh, well, no, that messed it. Really stiff! Holy jumping. Uh-oh, now I messed it all up again. Interesting. Now it's pulled all the way to the right, I think. Yeah, I shouldn't mess with that too much, maybe. <laughs> I'm going to have it all screwed up again. That's it's a little stiffer feeling now, anyways. That's a little better. Go straight. If it gets too floppy, it kind of seems to wander out of your hand a little bit. Well, it's, it's stiffer there now. It's actually a lot better. It's still pretty sensitive, but it feels feels better when it's a little little stiffer. But too stiff, then it's like you're fighting and your desk is like moving. And I mean, that's no good. You can't be driving it like that. It's kind of like if the truck was off and you had no power steering, in a sense. I guess I'm speeding a little bit here, 105 and 89. I don't know why it's 89 here, that doesn't make sense, so... Just under 300 left, and 6.30 on the left fuel. I think we should be all right. Should be. sensitive but it's a little stiffer now which is a little more realistic maybe kind of thing with you know I think that's actually set pretty nice now there that uh, force feedback stuff's cool but when it's constantly working like that you got to think that's got to be hard on the little motors and things that are in there you know it's got to keep it stiff right I don't know how many years you'd get out of that. So far, the wheel's been pretty good. This is a G920 uh, or something like that here. Yeah, 920. I think it is. It's been a good wheel anyway, so... if this truck does uh oh economy has using 40.1 liters per hundred right now so that's not bad for what we're driving and you know the wind resistance we're pulling against here and uh you know it's not too bad some of these trucks with the bigger engines oh man they would have gobbled that fuel up long ago <laughs> know where you're gonna go there bud you're gonna get pinched left. 534 on the gauge. We should be all right. It's going to be closer than that, I think, by the time we get there, but should be all right. Maybe we'll try a heavy haul if there's something that's not too far, like a trailer like that guy's maybe or something with this thing. He's a day cab, so, you know, we probably should be all right with it. Regular day cab, maybe he's got a bigger motor, but who knows. I wouldn't mind doing some gallon stuff, too. Gosh, we haven't been to a gallon forever. Just seen that trailer reminded me of that. I don't think that's a gallon trailer, but uh, yeah, we haven't been there for a long time, so... I 
I don't think in game here oh, again. I don't think in game here we have a uh, we have a tanker, but I think it's for food stuff, not for chemical stuff. Jake breaks messing up on this thing. Alright, we are still good. Gonna try to take off in a higher gear here, get some more speed built up so we have a better merge. Crap. <laughs> I guess I, I guess you should have got over there, bud. Yeah, the AI's a little bit do in this sometimes. I noticed there anyways. They should be a little bit more intelligent than that, but go straight. There's some fuel. I think I'm going to stop here. Now that's as we get going again. Stop here. Top her up. The downshifting is kind of weird in this truck. I guess I'm not used to uh, less gears. Oh, we've got to shut her off first. So this is the yummy shop. <laughs> Maybe. Oh, you thirsty too there, bud? Didn't take long to fill her up. Holy, where are you coming in? What's wrong with the other pump? That's a pretty schnazzy truck. I need a thumbnail of that. Oh, no. Let's, oh, man, I messed all that up. Let's get rid of the mirrors. No. Oh, my goodness. goodness. I don't know what I'm pressing here. Okay, so we want to be out of the cab. Uh, I'm trying to get rid of there. There we go. Okay. That's a pretty good one there. Let's get a nice thumbnail of that. Perk. hill climb up here so I'm gonna leave her in eighth here I think we should be should be all right on that gear oh wow it's eating up eighth even holy cow we're still Stay good right, though and then turn right uh oh I guess we're not going that way Are blocked off for some strange reason. Okay, let's find a new route. Or did it reconfigure us too? Oh, we just got to go down the highway a bit more. That'd be all right, anyways. I think that'd be all right, anyways. So, okay, what's going on down there, though? Something's something's happened somewhere there. I don't know. down through Sacramento. Go 
straight. I say straighten this little turn thing out here. I want to really look on the map in Sacramento and see if that little jaggedy turn is there. I'll have to go on Google Earth and see if I can find that little spot, Ohio 5, right by Sacramento. I want to have a look at that. Maybe we'll see if we can do that after. Although I've been having problems since I had my computer go down there and reinstalled everything. I had to reinstall all my... Um, uh, shadow play the recording software and stuff and then it doesn't seem to give me the option now to be able to record stuff on my desktop which is kind of stupid the uh, the other version the older version I guess it is I've got or whatever on my laptop which actually it's weird because it's been updated too, the video drivers but that version doesn't give you a privacy setting where there is record the desktop option you can turn on and off in there my new one on Pardon me, when I redid my computer oh, here, it doesn't have that now. So it's like, oh, I, I want to record my desktop. Now I can't? Really? Oh, man. So I don't know. I mean, it may not be able to do that for you today on there, but I'm going to go check it out anyways and uh, have a look-see. Go straight. Hopefully, the, I don't know why, why... Oh, I'm speeding. I shouldn't be doing that. I don't know why this... Uh, this time it doesn't seem to work, so something's so I have to keep working at it. But I looked on my laptop in the settings, and it has another additional tab for it. It says privacy. If you click on there, it's got a little slider tab that you can turn desktop recording on and off. Well, the one on uh, my computer here now doesn't even have that privacy tab. The last one is notification, I think, and it's like, really? What the heck? Why would you guys do that? So, I don't know. It's Sort of ticked me off a little bit, but go NVIDIA. Woo! <laughs> Holy cow, we're down to 65k left. Sweet! Oh yeah, that was the detour. It gave us a little bit extra, I think, but that's alright. We'll have to make a turn here and head her back in. Stay right, and then exit right. Exit right. Get ready to turn right. Gosh, I don't like those screen things. It's hard to kind of see through them, but I think we're okay. We'll see if we can get a, a heavy haul load after this, maybe, if there's anything available kind of close to here. Something that's more than 57,000 pounds, maybe. I 
Better start slowing her up, I guess. Go straight. Look at this, eh? Wow. Coming into the bay here or something. Shipping lanes. Get ready to turn left. Well, this was a shipping place, wasn't it? Turn left. Oh, dude, he didn't leave me much room there. Fuel right here. Huh. Fuel right there, right beside this place. That's kind of neat. That's handy. I've been here before. I can't remember what we did here now, but... Oh, sorry, bud. I need a lot more room! Boy, what are you guys all coming out of here for? You work here or something? Holy. Look at them all. It's like the shift just got out. Shift change. Just, just keep her going, bud. Just, just, wow. <laughs> it's all over now. You got that right, Frederick. It's all over. Okay, let's just do that. And there we go. Not too bad. We didn't do too bad there. Got a little more experience. Current company job offers. What do they got here? Well, there's a house. <laughs> it's not heavy, but um, 44,000. That one's 99,000. There we go. That'll be uh, whew, that'll be a killer. Let's take that one. That'll be the one where we got to follow the Time escort. To the job done. Got to follow the escort here. And it's going to take us a little bit of time. But these ones aren't usually a long drive. So what the heck? She's filming us. Oh, it must be something top secret. What is it? I want to see under... Look, filming. Who the heck has a camera like that anymore? <laughs> I guess they still make them for the big TV stuff, but... Okay, ooh, what's this now? You are about to haul a special transport cargo. There are two escort vehicles which lead you. Please carefully follow the lead suggested route advisor. Special transports like you don't special transports like you don't stop on a red signal and have the right of way in most situations during these deliveries. Checkpoints are made. Okay. Checkpoints are made more often to save your current progress. Pay extra attention to the following. Avoid any possible conflict with the escort vehicle and keep the cargo between them. Well that makes sense. Do not drive on. Do not drive out of the estimated route. Uh, nor, f nor to filling stations, rest stops, etc. Well, wow. the speed limitations, which the, will be ensured by the front escort vehicle. Watch out for overtaking traffic and other vehicles on the road. Change lane maneuver. The maneuver is started by the rear escort changing or blocking the designated lane. Nice. Front escort vehicle cool, doesn't lane occupied. Change lanes too, and then I get over. Huh? I don't remember seeing that screen before, but this is kind of different, maybe. All right, here we go. Let's see what we got on. Massive tech part. It, it actually is pretty wide. Um. Yeah. Oncoming vehicles. Hit the fence there with that thing. Geez, I pretty much need to be right in the center of the road here, honestly. Oh man, I hope there's nobody coming to this corner here like we were when we were coming in here. This thing is monstrous.
Cape Frederick. Pull that traffic back there, guys. Turn right. I remember as a kid watching, uh, we had an old train station, big building. Longer, of course, than it was wider, but it was probably, ooh, probably 20, 20 odd feet wide, anyways. And uh, they wanted to move it uptown from where it was. It was that, or they're just going to demolish it, move it uptown for make a restaurant. So, boy, boy, they did. And that was quite a move, man. That guy must have been clenching his butthole the whole way driving that thing. Holy cow. But uh, I was just a kid at that point. That's a long time ago now. That feller that was driving that thing could be dead now. I don't know. <laughs> I might have buried him myself. Who knows? Yeah, why did we have to do this at night time? Really? Get ready to turn right. Makes it hard to see my uh, corners here. Oh, this is going to be interesting. Turn right. Way out here. Try to sneak her back into the center of this lane here. I think we're all right. Oh, even the bus has stopped her waiting. Oh, there we go. Now I can see. The cops blinded, but oh well. It's all right. Well, it's hauling this. That's not tremendous, but it's not really bad. It's 100,000 pounds almost. I would have got a nice screenshot of this thing, except it's too dark now. I'm catching him. It's going too fast, I guess. Interesting. My cruise control, but I use the buttons on the steering wheel. It's working, so that's on. And then the bottom is a resume, and then I got the other two as the up and down increments, and it's not working. Should be all right here for being in the normal lane. Boy, it's dark. I cannot see that corner. Oh, oh, oh that's so dangerous. You can see the little the little marker light, but uh, see if I put my brakes on and I get a little bit of light. Them back, but he let that truck go through. Oh, a cop on a bike, or just a bike. No cop there, I don't think. I didn't see him, anyways. It's a good thing we're not going too far because this would take a long time if we were going a long way with this thing. But 
uh, this will be our last delivery for today. I just wanted to try the big truck here, but it's hard to test the power out when we can't really go super fast with it. Go straight. Someone trying to pass us there. That could be a dink and just stay way over here and then they won't be able to get past. Looks like about 67 or 68 is the fastest we can go. We start catching him then. these if you venture off the trail if you leave where he's following you it'll kind of kick you back to the last uh, quick save thing last checkpoint thing they'll start you back there again so you can't even deviate off go straight even if I went up there and down the other side it would probably kick me off you, you can still resume but it'll restart you back Now, say, taking this truck up the big mountain there into the sawmill, I don't think I'd be wanting to pull, like, the big trailer with, like, the big uh, log skidder or something. I don't think you'd want to be taking that up there. But um, down would maybe be all right, but up, no, I don't think so. It would maybe do it fine, but to me, it's just like, no, I'm not doing that. I'm good. I'll stay on the flat. <laughs> All right, 124 left. Not too bad. I didn't even kind of really look to see where we were going to here. Where are we actually taking this? We're heading more south down to Huron. Oh, a place I haven't been to. Hey, that's going to be a tight fit in there. Whew. But anyways, we're almost there. Not too, too bad. to try to pass us yet. Yeah, I think they even filled me up too before we left there, I believe. They've got free fuel out of this job. That's all right. What's wrong with that? Whoa, geez. Sensitive. Yeah, what's wrong with free fuel? It's all right. And we're getting paid. Yeah, from 9th to 10th, <laughs> Should be a turn coming soonish here. I don't know if it's the next interchange, but after that, maybe. 82 now. Oh yeah, that's another couple down yet. Huron. Fresno. 
Go straight. That's a lot of police here blocking all these things off for us. It's a major, a major move. Go straight. I want to catch him. Oh man, that messed up my cruise control. All kind of shooting stars out here. Do you guys see all them go over? Aliens. Aliens. Off a hill here that kind of killed me. This thing's hurting a little bit, but there we go. We've got a happier side of the hill now. Now you're going too fast. All right, we better zoom back in. We got a turn and quite a right turn and another right turn coming up. Fresno. Stay right and then exit right. Exit right. Right, so we don't even stop. That's all right. Turn right. And I wish it was daytime we were doing this one. Should have opened up that mod thing I used there. I kind of zipped the time around, but haha, it's all right. We'll get one one day when it's bright out. Kind of like these big ones, sir. Slow though, they take forever, but. All right, a big lefty coming here. Another shooting star, get holy. Ready to turn left. Oh, they're waiting for us, look. Turn left. Yeah, that uh, Jake break sometimes acting weird. All right, I guess we should be all right. I'm coming. I'm coming. Chill out, bud. Waving me it on. Was a nice run. Good, good, good. All right, I guess I just pull up into the thing there. Uh, oh, I guess I think it skipped it on me. <laughs> oh well. I thought I had to stop there and 
do that thing, but I guess not. Well, there we go. That wasn't too bad. Oh, there's a gallon thing. I want to do it too. Oh, it's a big one. Where's it going, though? Holy crap! No, I don't want to do that. That's too long. Oh, but there's a gallon one. So they do still have the long one, the propane ones. Interesting. Wonder I can do s sender. Oh, how do you even find that in here? Oh, maybe here. Uh, whoop. Oh, no. I can't do it like that. Oh. What about... Um, Propane. There. That's a long drive. 2,500k. That one's a little better, but... Not sure if I got that. Um, not sure if I got that one, but... Uh, I'm not far away, but let's see. Wiminuka. Min Windy Miuka. That's not a very nice name, honestly. Um, do I have that one? No. Well, let's see here. Where the heck was that now? <laughs> I don't even remember. Well, I guess we won't worry about that today. It's the top middle of Nevada. Top middle of Nevada, which is right there. Darn it! I don't have that one. Have I not been there, I wonder. Uh, let's go to this map. Hmm. Yeah, I've been through there. There's no garage there, I guess. Well, Reno's not far. Let's do, uh, let's see what happens here. If I go to Reno. Oh, I don't have any drivers here yet. Hmm, interesting. Reno, and then... Let's go. Finding new route. Let's see if I can just score this one job for today. It's probably gone now. Oh, no, it's still there. Okay, set destination. That's a little bit of a Ready trip to even roll. to get there, but... Let's, uh... Let's just do some propane for today. get that mixed up. At least it's AM now, so let's go pick up that propane. We'll take that for today too. I was going to end the day there with that last one, but we'll do some, Turn some left. propane to today, I guess. Three good loads. Oh, better stop. Stupid mirrors in the way. Ah, oh, you know what they should have is some kind of virtual mirror. It kind of illuminates on the side window there, and you can shut that off if you want to look through it for a moment. Stay right, and then turn right. Yeah, the Jake brake's acting weird on this thing. Turn 
right. Stay right, and then exit right. This thing's kind of fairly peppy, actually. Exit right. Let's head her to the gallon there. Pick up our propane. Dude in the blue car, what are you doing? I just love making lane changes. Our trip, or our trip here for just picking it up. Let's go. We'll be getting some uh, XP go from straight. free roam, so that's all right. Hundred and thirty-two, thirty-three is probably max for this truck. I think the big trucks will do about one sixty if you really get them wound out. Very amazed if I ever see a 140 not going down a hill, we'll say. Just eating up the fuel. <laughs> oh well, that's alright. They make fuel every day. see 140 down through here. Yeah. Oh, that's quite a turn. Last second save. <laughs> don't think we got 140 though. I couldn't check that though. I don't know if you guys were looking over there, but I couldn't see it. So. She just maxed right out this thing. 10th gear more gears, so maybe we need more gears in it, I don't know. 13 speed, maybe? Oh, dude, dude, really? Really, bud? Don't break check me. Holy jumping. checking me again. I'm going to crash into you because all i got to do is repair my truck right now. I don't have to worry about my load. You better get over. Break checking that guy now. Holy jumping bud. check. <laughs> hey God, over the other lane. And he's got back over here. Oh my gosh. Oh man. <laughs> You're making my head hurt, bud. <laughs> making my head hurt. I looked at the time when we left there. I thought it was 7 oh something a.m. and now it's p.m. again. Oh, well, we'll lose a bit of oh, be nighttime again. Oh, man. Ah. I wonder if I could stop somewhere and have a sleep just to get it back to daytime and then get our load and then. Uh, I don't want to do it again at nighttime. That's what I'm kind of ticked about here. 
want to see the big hot dog shaped trailer thing. That's kind of why I'm doing it, because I haven't done one for a while. figured out, I guess. Whoa, that's a bit of a drop there. 140. Absolute maximum. <laughs> Screaming maximum 140. Oh, man, dude. Really, dude. There's a gallon trailer. It's a fuel trailer, diesel trailer, or gas or something. Yelling. Whoa! Oh, jeez. Holy cow. Nah, I didn't have my lights on. maxed right out full full boost <laughs> just melting the engine down lane there, bud. Yeah. Back hole. All right, I guess we'll get over here. Let's just check this map before we get into town. And there's a sleep spot there. Might just zip over there and have a quick nap. Let's see if I can get some back to daylight here. So it'll take us a little bit to load the uh, the load too. So stay right and then exit right. Exit right. I don't know if this is going to work for me. I might have to zip out a game real quick and then install that. Uh, oh, I don't even have it installed. Oh, Turn right. My computer crashed. Darn it! Well, we'll see what we can do here for getting back to daytime after some sleep. Motel. Alright, let's have a, a rest. Uh, why is it not working? Let's see if we can get back to some daylight. Oh, five, six, seven, eight, nine. That'd be perfect. There we go. Ah, I feel so refreshed. 
approach Coach Motel. Get ready to turn left. Hopefully that load's still there. Turn left. Do all this and that load's disappeared on me now. Whoa! Whew. That was close. The brakes didn't seem to want to work for me. Probably because I didn't push them. <laughs> likely. Uh, likely because I didn't push them. Get ready to turn right. That's pretty close. Well, we can still get closer. Ah, oh, he moved on us. Light changed. Turn Hopefully right. this load's still here. That would suck if it wasn't. They'll be here. I want to do propane. Turn right. Bet you it's gone. You have arrived at your destination. Your route guide is now finished. Bet you it's gone. Oh yes, it is gone. Oh man. <laughs> well, that sucks, doesn't it? Um, there's no propane anywhere now. Ah, uh, well, that was a failed attempt. I don't want to take that trailer. What else do we got from Elko here? Oops, my bad. Or Wim and Yuka, sorry, not Elko. Ah, uh, yeah, I don't really want to do those. I want to take the propane. Oh, well. We'll look for propane a little later on, maybe. I guess we'll call her there today. Sorry, that was a little extra trip for no real extra trip for no real reason. But anyways, um, there we go. Anyways, thanks again for watching. We'll catch you all later, and you guys have a good day.